Hi, I'm Phaedra Kress, Executive Editor of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal, and I'm here today with my colleague Hunter Alexander, who is the Editorial Manager of the Journal. We're here today to talk to you about some of the trials and tribulations of peer review, what you can do to improve your manuscript for submission, and even throughout the actual peer review process. Hunter, you bring up a good point about the images, and this is something that sometimes I think authors struggle with. One example that we kind of see is we'll see pre and post-op images with different color backgrounds or different shades of blue. Can you give any other tips about how they might be able to manipulate the images themselves or you know, help with the backgrounds or some of the sizing or cropping issues that we see during submission? Sure, image standardization is very important. It's ideal for images to have the, you know, be taken in the same location. That way they would feature the same backgrounds. They should be cropped similarly. If a patient's pre-ops are from here down, it would make no sense for the post-ops to be here down. So that way on the page, they'd be aligned. So standardized cropping, backgrounds, lighting is very important. The distance at which the photos were taken. And then also high quality artwork, illustrations, anything that would enhance the quality of your paper make it easier for a reader to then take the technique or um, tips, tricks you're describing and implement that in his or her practice. I think also that there's been an evolution in what the expectation is in, in aesthetic surgery for how these images are presented. Right. If you were to look back through the pages of ASJ, 5, 10, 15 years ago, you'd probably see more clothing, you'd see more gowns. So, uh, you know, we're evolving and we do encourage you to put your best foot forward, as Hunter said.